I started blocking people. <laughs> You're probably wondering, why is he so happy when that seems like a negative thing? Well, the reason why I'm happy is completely unrelated to the topic of this video, and that is because I'm continuing to do better. I had less breathing issues yesterday during the night, which means that I had a better night's sleep. I was less sore when I woke up this morning and less exhausted. Not to mean that I was fully rested, but definitely feeling better than I have in a while. And it seems like for the last week, it's been gradually getting better. So at this point, I'm very optimistic that I'm not going to relapse and start, you know, throwing up again and not being able to keep any food down and have to go back to the ER. Like, obviously, I have no control over what will and won't happen, but I'm very optimistic at this point. And I also seem to be having less phlegm, seem to be coughing less, so things seem to be going well on most fronts. Which is kind of, sorry, which is kind of ironic considering the fact that the theme of this video is, well, it's not necessarily negative, but it's not exactly positive. So let's get into it. Why did I start blocking people? Sorry, moved the chair and it made more noise than expected and it hit the table. <laughs> so the reason why I started blocking people is because the last few months have been very, very intense and have taught me a very important lesson. And you know, people who say like, in order to be happy and healthy, you need to remove all the negativity from your life and just keep the positivity. It's kind of that principle, but to a higher, more extreme level because, yeah, okay, that is a great principle to live by and most people should live by that principle and that is one of the reasons why I removed certain people, such as my mother, from my life and it's, it's something that's very good and valuable. However, in my situation, negativity, if there is too much of it, if there starts being a buildup of it and it starts affecting me, it could literally cause my health to deteriorate and lead to me dying. So it's more than just, oh, I want to live a happy life. So I'm going to remove the negativity from my life. It's I don't want to die, so I must remove the negativity from my life. And that does include the very few and far between negative people who are subscribed to my channel and watch my videos. So before we kind of get into that, I just want to make something very, very clear. 99.99% .99 of subscribers and viewers and commenters have absolutely nothing to worry about. You don't need to worry about anything. Most people leave super kind and positive and uplifting and loving and encouraging comments. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of those. And what I love the most is whenever some of you are going through difficult times and you share that, and then the community comes together and really supports each other and encourages each other. And I love seeing that, even though unfortunately in the last couple of weeks I haven't been able to really read or respond to comments. I just love seeing that, that love really in, in the comments. And it's like, that's why I refer to people who watch as my YouTube family, because you know, I, I love you. And I love the fact that you're connecting with each other and supporting each other and encouraging each other. I love that so much. So the last thing I want to do with this video is give the impression that I'm trying to discourage people from commenting. That has never been the case, that is not the case, and that will never be the case. The reason why, <coughs> sorry, the reason why I unfortunately had to start deleting some comments or blocking some people, and when I say some, I mean very, very, very few. It's like 0.01% or probably less than that. So like I said, most people don't need to worry about anything. And I'm pretty sure that if I block someone, they're not going to be surprised. 
because I will only block people who leave extremely negative comments. So it's like if someone's like, hey, you know, you should embrace religion, you should pray to God and that will heal you. Why would I block that person? I would not do that. They just have a different opinion, a different perspective from mine, and they're just trying to help me in their own way. I would not block a comment or I would not delete a comment like that. I would not block a person who makes that type of comment. The type of comment I'm referring to is the type of comment that would say something like, you're an idiot. You're going to die. Accept it. Yeah, I'm sorry, but there's absolutely no value in a comment. I respect that people have different opinions, different beliefs. I believe in the freedom of speech, but there is no value in that comment to the person who posts it, to me, to anyone who reads it. So why would I leave it there? It's just bringing negativity into my life. And as I mentioned over the last couple of months, I've realized like going through all that I've gone through and all that suffering and all that pain, it made me realize like just fighting this, just surviving will take all the strength I have. I do not have extra energy to on top of that combat the negativity that certain people leave in certain comments. As I said before, those comments are very few and far between. I don't want to get a false impression that there's a lot more that there are. That's not the case. But I also want to be very honest. The whole point of this channel is, is to live out loud, to share everything that's going on, both the good and the bad. And even though something could potentially make me paint me in a negative light, if you will, because I've always been a very Sorry, a message popped up on my phone. I just want to make sure it's not important. No, all good. Um, so yeah, I just, it doesn't matter to me how people perceive me because I've made it a point in the past to say like, you know, everybody's welcome to comment, share your opinion, share your thoughts. It, it doesn't matter what you say or what you believe. I encourage you to comment. And I still believe that, but it's like, please just do it in a way that is positive. You're allowed, you're entitled. I encourage you to have a different opinion than mine. Just be kind about the way you share it. That's all I ask. Whether it be a comment towards me, whether it be a comment towards my wife or a comment towards another subscriber, whatever it is, if you present it in a way that is like, hey, this is just my opinion. I, I mean, no disrespect by it. I'm just sharing it because I think it's important. I'm not going to delete that. I'm not going to block that person. If you're just really in attack mode, really harsh, really mean, I mean, you're probably going to see it coming. So I don't feel bad deleting a comment like that or blocking someone like that. And as I mentioned, it's only happened a couple of times at this point, especially since in the last couple of weeks, I haven't just had the bandwidth and mental energy to read or respond to any comments. But I just thought it was something important to share because this is the whole one of the channel. So once again, I don't want to discourage anybody from commenting. I love seeing conversations in the comments, even though I haven't been able to see those for a couple of weeks. I love seeing that whenever someone's going through something intense and they share it and then other people come and support them and encourage them and make suggestions to try to help them and everything. I love seeing that so much and I really, really hope that continues. I just wanted to be honest, to be transparent and just to say like, yep, yeah, every once in a while, like one in a thousand, one in a hundred comments that is negative that I believe has a negative impact on myself or on someone that I love or on my YouTube family. I'm sorry, but either the comment will get deleted or you will get blocked. Just wanted to put that out there. <clears throat> oh yeah, also, just wanted to make something very, very clear. For some reason, it seems like every time that I post a video about my wife, there's some idiot out there who goes and makes a dumb comment about her or just attacks her or is super mean. And I'm like, I don't understand why anyone would do that. But when it comes to my wife, I am very, very protective of her and I have a zero tolerance policy. So if you make a negative comment about my wife, you will automatically get blocked. That is just how it works. 
for me, I'm a little more lenient. I can tell what's going to impact me, what's not going to impact me, what's best for the subscribers, for people who would read the comments and everything. And I try to find the just balance of, you know, respecting myself, not allowing negativity into my life, not allowing it to negatively impact me while still doing what's best for the community, what's best for the channel. So that's what I always try to do. But when it comes to my wife, sorry, zero tolerance policy. So I think that covers about everything. And I also want to take a moment to just say like, thank you to everyone who isn't in that 0.01%. So the 99.99% .99 of people who watch, who comment are all super kind and encouraging and supportive. And I love you and appreciate you so much. And I really hope you keep commenting and watching and sharing and doing everything that you do. This, this video, the reason for me blocking certain people or deleting certain comments does not apply, as I said, to 99.99% .99 of people watching this. So please do not feel offended. Please do not feel targeted by this. That is not my intention whatsoever. I'm incredibly grateful for most people. I just need to do what's best for me, for my health, for my future, for my for my wife and my family and my loved ones and my YouTube family. And I will always do what seems right and what seems appropriate. So thank you once again to 99.99% .99 of people watching. I really appreciate you. I will continue to share my story as authentically and as openly as possible. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.